what is up? In this video, I wanted to share with you the, well, I guess it's not that really funny, but it's more serious. What I wanted to share with you is the mental health portion of being a model. And what's it like being a model in LA? What's it, being, what's it like being a model in general? It is tough. So I do wanna let y'all know it's not that easy uh, from a mental standpoint, since your main job is to get judged on your appearance. If you can produce and provide, uh, you are the business of just showing up, looking a certain way. Um, and when you can't do that and you can't produce, uh, then you're not doing well at the job, which is very, very sad to think about. For me, I had to deal, deal with acne. I've dealt with acne since I was a sophomore in college. And now I am an adult. I am old. I am headed for about nine years acne, dealing with acne. So I've seen it all, I've done it all. Accutane, I well, got up to Accutane, but it took a, it took a while to get there. Um, and then all these different topical medications, all these different facial treatments, and pretty much it got to a point where yeah, it couldn't work at certain points. I feel very like insecure to be in front of the camera, to pose, to smile, um, to even make these YouTube videos if, you know, if I do experience a breakout. Um, and then over time, as you're getting more comfortable and going through therapy, uh, I think one of the biggest reasons why I was able to model was because I went through therapy school. And then I was like, I, my self-esteem, my self-worth is to a point where I feel secure in myself and that I can try this. I can try this endeavor without knowing and attaching my self-worth to my image. Um, I thought the opportunity was there and I wanted to, to try my best and knowing that I won't book everything, um, but at least give it my all and my best shots. I'm not saying that if you don't go to therapy school or you do therapy, you can't model because that's not the case. I'm sure a lot of models don't go to therapy. Um, I think it just leaves a little bit more chance and it could give more problems in the beginning stages uh, as a model with a lot of insecurities and having people judge you just by your look, not your personality, um, that can be very tough on people without knowing their own self-worth. For an example is, say you do 100 castings and you are putting yourself out there, you're really trying your best, and you're saying, hi, my name is Kevin Yu, I'm with LA Models, I'm 6'2", I'm with Talent Management, I'm 6'2", this is what I do, I look to your right, I look to the left, and you submit a hundred of those, but you get nothing back. It's just crickets. That can be very disheartening. I think a lot of us, at least even, yeah, me in the beginning stages, most, I would say most models attest to this, is like, how come I'm not getting a call back? How come no one wants me? And you put in a year's of work, but you maybe get a couple callbacks and that's it. And that could be very demoralizing. And you're just asking constantly, what's wrong with me? What's wrong? Why am I not doing well? How come no one's picking me? I can do that. I feel like I can do this. And you get really down on yourself and you're like, why uh, people don't like me for this reason? Like, oh, I should have done that. I should have done this. Uh, but in reality, it is very competitive and they only will maybe select a handful, maybe one or two people out of the bunch. Um, and typically they might pick someone that's a little bit more experienced, more seasoned, since you're, maybe your portfolio is not built out uh, well and you're just still in the beginning stages. So I think that is a big hurdle for a lot of beginning models is the the struggle that it takes to get to your first booking or multiple bookings where you keep booking constantly. So in reality, they didn't choose you because they didn't like you. They just thought maybe someone would be better fit and that's okay. Uh, that time will come when that role opens and is perfect for you and you do get chosen. It just takes a lot of time and persistence. So don't take it personally that they didn't choose you. And rejection is never fun, so it really helped me to know is that once I submit, I just forget it. Forget about it, same thing if you're in person, once you finish your casting, just go home and forget about it. Uh, because you're gonna be doing a lot of them, and you're gonna, and if your parents keep calling and say like, oh, how, how did that casting go with Nike? How did that casting go with Nike and Adidas? You're gonna eventually get the call and say like, hey mom or dad, I'm gonna, just gonna call you when I do get the booking. I'm not gonna tell you about my castings anymore because there's gonna be a lot of them and it's okay that people don't pick me because it's very competitive. So here, X, Y, and Z. That's what I started doing, boundaries with my parents. 
because I would always tell them like, oh, how's your day, Kevin? Or they would ask me, oh, how my day is, Kevin? And I'd be like, oh, I had a casting for Nike. And then a week later, it was like, did you ever get the casting from Nike? I'm like, no. Thanks for bringing it up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Thanks for bringing it up, Pops. If it's good news, I'll let you know. And when we all get to cheer together, cheer together, I get the call. Kevin, you got it. I relay the message. Hey, Dad, hey, Mom, I got a booking. Who's it with? Blah, 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 boom. We're all like, oh, yeah, let's get it. Money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? Dude, that's so cringe. I'm sorry that I'm doing this to you. So that, it, that sums up the mental health portion. Set boundaries. Go in with the fact that you're internalizing your image that's not a representation of your self-worth and that because you're not getting booked doesn't mean that you are worthless and you suck at your job. It's just, it's just not the right fit or uh, you're building your experience to eventually find a role that fits you the best. So you don't suck, you're great. Keep at it, go. But thanks again for watching the mental health portion of this video. Now let's get to the process of what it takes to become a model in LA. <laughs> ah! I can't speak English. English is hard. <laughs>